founder of Fernie, William Fernie, uh, had some kind of deal with an Indian chief in the area. I don't know what exactly it was for. Maybe he was guiding him or uh, showing him, giving him access to certain areas in Fernie. Anyway, William Fernie was bequeathed the chief's daughter, or or he wanted to marry the chief's daughter, and they came up with some kind of working arrangement as such. And uh, William Fernie didn't uh, go through with his part of the deal. I don't know exactly what that was, but the chief cursed the city to burn down three times. And Fernie has had two major fires in which almost the whole town has burned down. So um, the third one hasn't happened yet, but he was, the town was cursed to be burned down three times and so far it has happened twice. And uh, there's a mountain right beside Fernie, Hosmer Mountain. And later in the day, late afternoon, early evening, if the sun's out, um, you can see a ghost rider on the mountain. It's very distinct. And what you see is an Indian princess on a horse with uh, a man walking beside the horse. I'm not sure if that's, I think that's the chief's chief walking with his princess. It might be William Fernie, but it's a very interesting story and quite a cool phenomenon to see on the mountain. It's very distinct. came and there was an Indian princess wearing a bunch of coal around her neck. That was the main thing that William Fernie tried to get was the coal. So when he went to go in and get all of the coal there was a curse that was put on him, hence the reason on Hosmer Mountain there's that image of the ghost rider that sits over it watching over the town and the town went through a lot of trouble. We had two fires as well as a massive flood that took out everything but I believe sometimes in the 80s or early 90s the curse was apparently lifted. So now the town is back to being a-okay. 